Many people are using third-party routers in this day and age to improve signal strength, bandwidth and functionality when using their internet. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the TP-Link Archer D7, so let's roll the intro. Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. As I said just before the intro, I'm going to be reviewing the TP-Link Archer D7 router. So first of all, I would just like to say thanks to TP-Link for sending this product out for review. The Archer D7 is a modem router with a combined wired slash wireless connection and it has a decent variety of features compared to many other routers out on the market today. It is also said to be great for use at home or in a business office. As usual, let's start off by taking a look at the box. On the front we have a nice picture of the router, the brand and the product name, and finally some of the product's best features such as gigabit wireless speeds, maximum range and dual USB ports. Next on the rear side we have a few more of the router's features and another picture of the router, but this time explaining all of the ports and finally we have a comparison table comparing some of TP-Link's other premium routers. So now let's open up the box and take a look inside. Straight away on top we have the resource CD, a quick installation guide, a declaration of conformity and a GNU GPL. Underneath that we have the router itself, an ethernet cable, two ADSL cables, three external antennas, the power supply and an ADSL filter. Taking a closer look at the router, it has a glossy surface on top, the brand logo and a silver aluminium piece which keeps the router flat on a table and actually does cool down the device. Just above this would be the 7 LEDs when all services are connected and are running successfully. On the back of the router we have 3 ports with antennas go, an ADSL port, 2 USB ports, a WPS button, a Wi-Fi toggle button, the pin reset hole, 4 ethernet ports, a power button and finally the power port. The two USB ports are great for setting up a print server, charging a mobile device or connecting up storage devices to share files in the network. Also, this router has six antennas, three internal and three external. The three external antennas are very easy to install. All you need to do is screw them on and then adjust them to a position of your liking. This router has a great design and looks great on any table or desk. Also, this device has no problem with cooling at all with the rigid design on the bottom side. It's very easy to set up this router. First you are going to want to screw on all three external antennas. Then you need to connect the ADSL cable from the phone line in the wall to the router if you are using this as your main router. Or alternatively, an ethernet cable from your existing router either directly or via home plugs into the LAN for slash WAN port if you're using this router as a wireless access point like me. After that, connect an ethernet cable from the router to your computer, then finally connect up the power source before powering on the router. You'll see some of the white LEDs appear on the top side. Now all you have to do is follow the instructions either on the resource CD or the online interface. To access the online interface, make sure your computer is connected to the router either wirelessly or wired and then log on to www.tplinkmodem.net using a web browser where you will then be prompted for the username and password which by default are both admin. The online interface has a lot of different options and settings. It allows you to set up the router as a wireless access point or set up simultaneous networks using 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz. Also you can configure a guest network, an FTP server, a print server and lots more. I found that using the 5 GHz channel was the way to go, using it for online gaming and HD streaming. I didn't really bother too much with the 2.4 GHz option however, as I need to rely on fast speeds and good performance. Finally, this router can transmit and maintain fast speeds across long distances with its six antennas. Using this router, I'm able to get excellent signal strength throughout my whole house and the front and back gardens. Overall, I think this is a great router. It has a great design and looks very elegant wherever you place it. It has a bunch of great features and supports very fast speeds up to 1300 megabits per second at 5 gigahertz. It's definitely worth the upgrade from the router that your ISP sends out to you when you sign up to their services. 
Also, I like how the LED indicators don't even look like lights in the day and aren't too bright in the night. Be sure to check out the TP-Link website if you want more information. Also, if you'd like to buy this product, there will be a link down in the description below. My name is Sam and you have been watching Speedline Tech TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.